Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. If you're joining us for the first time, please don't always forget to subscribe, add on the numbers and also click on the notification bell so that anytime a video is posted, you get a notification of the same. Now, straight to my gist. Now, yesterday, Luke Ross got a love message from her friend, Emeka. Change your life. What's up, what's up, Nicole Rose, my G? I was so excited when I heard <laughs> I had to make a message for you. Ooh. I have a billion things to say to you. Come on, bro, say that. But I'll keep it short and simple. And I'll leave the rest till Sunday. Now, this took place when Luke Ross told the big brother that uh, she want to use her BB tokens so that she can talk to somebody uh, from home. Now, big brother actually guaranteed her uh, the opportunity. And yesterday, we saw her moving to the executive lounge where she talked to her friend Emeka. So Emeka was encouraging Luke Ross with love messages. And actually, he told uh, Luke Ross that... Uh, he, he was proud to talk to her during this particular time and even told her that uh, she can continue making her fans happy. Like, you're cool, my pain, I die. Oh Forget, you tight. Call me, can change your life. What's up, what's up, Nicole Rose, my G? I was so excited when I heard <laughs> I had to make a message for you. Ooh. I have a billion things to say to you. Come on, bro, say that. But I'll keep it short and simple. And I'll leave the rest till Sunday. You know, say I got you for out here. I did for you, know, you know, we're bro. looking out for you. You're making everybody proud. For real? Man, I expected you to go in there and do us proud. But you're doing, you're exceeding all our expectations. Are you sure? You're making everybody so proud. <laughs> Few more days to go. We can't wait to see you, man. Keep doing My what you're God. doing. We're doing yeah, our own parts for you out here, man. But then just keep doing you. Stay happy. Stay true. Aww. Keep your game. Shine your eye. Bro, you fucking make me and audition hey, again. One last thing. I want, I want you to know that I pray for you every day. I say prayer to God for you every day. So stay calm. Stay relaxed. Stay happy. We're good. Shay gets. My guy, we're good. <laughs> and we miss you so so, I miss so, so you. Much. I miss all Let me of tell you something. Hey. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> you make me cry. Shit, bro. Again. Again. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. This dude literally took a bike. Catch up for me. So I couldn't do my auditions. Fucking make me audition again. Shit. Bro, I miss you, man. Fuck. <laughs> Straight to another gist. Now, yesterday after the Airtel task, we saw uh, pictures of the victim housemaid, that is Saga, Nini, uh, and Queen brought into the house. So, during this particular time, we saw uh, White Money, uh, Pere, we saw Angel, we saw uh, all of them discussing the situation between Saga and Nini. Now, White Money was telling them that uh, he's actually wondering how Saga is feeling at the moment because uh, Nini was telling them that, that during the media rounds, her boyfriend will be always on her side, taking her from one station to another. So they were wondering how is uh, uh, Saga coping up with the situation? In Saga! Nini, when is your media round ending? Which one? Your media round. When is it ending? Oh, my boyfriend is gonna be taking me around. Oh, fuck it, bro. Oh, I just, I want, I just wonder what's happening with. Oh, fuck it. I know, right? I wonder what's happening. Hasn't that you? No, no, so fucking awkward. I'm painful. When, when she left before <sighs> him. Right? Look, like, outside now, the boyfriend will be there, obviously. It's like I stay. I mean, he knew what he was. Breaking. Up. He knew what he was up against now. Ha! <sighs> or up for. I can't be in that situation. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. I hope he's handling it well. You hope who is handling well? Saga, Saga yes. His boyfriend. Saga. His boyfriend doesn't have a problem. Does he? Yeah, a bit. Because, okay. because Saga likes weeks ago. Yeah, definitely. He said, said it. He would be so miserable in this house. He said it. He said it. He told me that he's, good, that yeah. he's, that he's, that he's dumb. Now, we also saw them talking about Boma. Boma is somebody who is... Uh, 
getting much into a relationship he is so much into love boma is a lover boy so whenever he gets into a relationship is easily actually is easily controllable so this is how they talk about it same thing when boma the first two first second day when the ladies came the second day i think i don't know who he connected with i don't know who he started with he just came to me and said what mm. i don't fuck up i don't scatter <laughs> because he boma is a very um he's an emotional person very very he's a very very emotional person and sure. he, he he's controllable when he's in yeah. Once he so loves I you. Like mumu. Once I he likes like you. I don't oh. want. Once he likes you. Him. He's so like if you allow it, like it gets actually get to him. Like yeah, emotional part is controlled. We don't look at this guy and mumu for this. I don't even like mumu. Oh really? Yes. Yes, no. He's very con. Later we saw uh, White Money and Angel discussing life after the reality show. Now. For now, I just wanna invest in business, establish more of my business. People. Now, white money was telling Angel that uh, you will know whom I was after the party. Now, during this particular time, we saw a uh, white money telling Angel that uh, he doesn't like the way his village is because the first, the last time he went there, he was not totally happy about the village, the state of the village, and now he was telling Angel that uh, if he wins the show, he will make a change in the village. Yeah, so to the house and the things that my grandfather did what is there nobody is building shit nobody is developing shit nobody is just stuck in their old ways and nobody is moving forward it's just crying inside my heart i'm like looking at them mm -hmm. even back to the community is important oh uh, this is the land this is like to say mass of people and they all look up to if I just did, and I told you when we go outside, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know white money, but you don't know who white money is. So we'll go outside. Yeah, I can tell you. And he also feels that, you know, during this particular time, we also saw him uh, telling our uh, angel that he is the first person from his hometown to go to the reality show. That is the Big Brother Niger show. Help people, houses, all this stuff, just do it in my, in my community. I think I'm the first person coming out from that place in Nigeria. Uh, How come you do that? No, from my side in Nigeria. That side, I'm in there. Because my dad is cool, yeah, my grandfather is cool, but in terms of this big, yeah, I think I'm the first. So I want to help them. But just do something for them. You know, last time I went there, man. Well, I was not happy so thank you guys for watching if you're joining us for the first time please don't always forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that anytime a video is posted you get a notification of the same until i bring another gist of a big brother niger show bye bye for now